Colby, you going to see Dr. King today? Yeah. Don't do it. People who go see him, go to his office, they come out deaf. Well, somebody needs to take him down tonight. Someone's got to do it or he's going to keep teaching that damn class. him everything he knows. <laughs> All right, about football or what? No, cognitive psychology. Oh, oh. I'm worried about this daily assignment number three, Colby. I mean, I was looking around the other day and people were laughing and looking at their phones and their computers and so forth and so on. Yeah, I have a question about the daily assignment. It just seemed kind of fake to me. Uh, we keep on repeating stuff. I mean, couldn't it make the speaker feel bad? Well, usually the speaker is focused on his or her own problem and isn't paying that much attention to you, unless your behavior becomes, you know, like super obvious. The real key to success in active listening is to be sincere, to really want to help. And if I don't want to help? Well, if you can appear to be sincere, that usually works pretty well, too. Another thing, when we do active listening, it just seems to take forever. It's so slow. I want to listen fast. Colby. Take it from a man who's been the fastest listener in the West for many years. You don't want that kind of life. There's always some hot shot listener who wants to challenge you, make a name for himself. Besides, I'm still the fastest. You could never take me. I'm calling you out, Dr. King. Let's try listening fast. Okay, here's the thing. 
I gave tests earlier this semester, especially in the listening class, and I found out that some people really didn't do very well on the test, and there were others that did okay. And then, I've given a couple of exams since then, and I have found that the students that were in the not doing so well group, I mean, that really pretty bad scores, they, all of them seem to be doing better. And my students who were doing really, really well, that were up at the top of the distribution, well, I don't know what happened, but they're just not doing so well. And here's what I think. I think a copy of the test got out. I think something fishy's going on here. I think that there's something wrong. There's some, you know, something smelling and something rotten in Denmark. Whatever it is, help me out! You seem upset and a bit angry, Dr. King. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, could this problem just be an example of regression to the mean, like Kahneman describes? I mean, you should expect extreme scores to move to the middle of the distribution as a result of statistical regression, shouldn't you? Uh, yeah, actually, you're right. Okay, here we go. So basically, Oklahoma State game, we sitting there playing a football game, and they came out to the ball, and I had to dial for it, and it was just too far. I mean, I was like, come on, like, what are you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? I was tired. And then, first of all, in the hotel, I had chicken, and the chicken was raw, the macaroni and cheese, and the lasagna and stuff. And then, we lost the game, though, you must on the sideline. And then, on the way back, the dog on playing, I stuck in mud. And then, after that, I mean, it was just, we lost the game, I was upset. I mean, I didn't get back to school until 3 o'clock in the morning. And so, like, the whole entire night, I was just, like, frustrated and just, like, what are you going, what's going on? Like, Coach P, fix this right now, fix it right now, you know what I'm saying? And, man, I don't know, it's just annoying and frustrating, so. Could you repeat that, Colby? I don't hear so good in this ear anymore. Okay, wait, wait. All right, whenever you're ready. That's perfect. If you would have put the hat on the right way instead of backwards, it would have been. <laughs>